Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Gerardo Marquez and today I will be reacting to an amazing, amazing photographer. At first when I bought my camera, the one that I'm recording with, uh, when I bought it, I didn't know anything and like I said, I've never had any professional training. And I bought it and I thought it would be a good idea if I was going to learn um, properly. I decided to pay for a course online and I found this uh, great course online. Now when you sign up for this course or when you pay for it, they give you an option to enter this Facebook group and well I joined the group and it was it's been pretty awesome. There's some really really uh, talented and just amazing people there. And one of the photos that I took not so long ago, it's uh, this one. I posted it in the group and there, there was one person that commented, oh, you know this looks similar to uh, Margaret Burke White and I didn't know who that was and I said okay well I'm flattered that you compare me to someone um, and now I know a few things about her, I'm about to watch one of her, uh, uh, most of her uh, photos and I mean just from the get go what I'm seeing right now she's, or oh, she was amazing and that now I'm even more flattered the fact that this person saw this photo that I took and it reminded him of some of her work which is just <laughs> insane to me so with all that being said let's go ahead and start this video <laughs> and let's start watching this amazing photographer of Margaret Bork White let's go just look at that photo I mean just the balls to go out there and then she that, that camera does not look like it's uh, you know light like a digital camera or you know a mirrorless camera <laughs> and she just popped uh, out there and she took some photos and like wow amazing just that first photo amazing okay what look at this look at this composition all of these lines I'm assuming that's I, I don't know uh, she's standing under an electric power line something like that where you I don't know is that an oil like tower just all of the lines and they lead you directly to the center but even when your eyes are going to the center you're looking at all of these other lines the composition is amazing wow it just captures your eye you know and that's such amazing composition incredible Look at this amazing composition of these workers in this factory. Oh my god, it's just unbelievable. It just puts you there. You know, oh my god, this car going by. But uh, yeah, I mean, it just, it puts you, or it makes you feel like you're there. I mean, she could have just taken this photo without any of the people, it still would have been amazing, but she puts the people there, or she took this photo of these people working there on this factory. Like, wow, I mean, this job for these people must not have been easy. And also, how big is this factory? It's, it's huge. Listen, man, thank you for comparing my photo to this amazing photographer, but I just, oh, come on, I'm just not on her level at all. <laughs> at all at all no I'm not look at that camera and we complain that our cameras there's some people that complain that you know some cameras are really heavy look at the size of that effing camera like that's so big and I bet that's not light either it's just so big how to how do you keep that steady how just imagine being a photographer you know, a professional photographer you're doing your job and then you are met with this horror of what other people do to each other because of religion, race, ideologies, territories, whatever, but just this photo is just so... What we do to each other, huh? What we can do to each other. And this kind of photography is necessary because it's sometimes in our own conceited ways we think that no you know what we are living in a perfect world and I have a car I have food I have a job but there's places in this world where they don't have any of that and they're also being killed you know their families their parents 
somewhere in the world because of still stupid reasons and photographers that do this type of work it's not easy for them I'm sure but they still have to take the photos and show the world that this is happening even now so my greatest and most biggest respect I don't know how else I can say just you people are amazing and wow the work that you do is really really important and I don't know if I could have the balls to do what you do uh, wow 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 in this photo of this woman holding these vases on her head and on her side that's just amazing there's so much like the strength of women but of the human body and also I don't know she seems so fierce I hope I can take a photo like that someday. I hope, I hope, I can only hope. Damn it, she's so talented. How the hell did you ever compare me to her in your mind? What were you thinking? Uh, so, what is the conclusion of today's video? The conclusion of today's video is that she's an amazing, amazing photographer. Thank you for whoever, you know, put her name on my brain. Uh, so I can look her up and look at this amazing photographer and thank you for watching if you are still here I hope I didn't bore you too much with my blah 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 thank you for watching leave a like in the video before you leave it doesn't cost anything also leave a comment tell me if you liked it or not if you hated me or if you liked it but either way but mostly if you liked it I would appreciate that don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I will be seeing you in the next video take care take care of each other Goodbye.